And a small Georgia county is now making big news tonight as new developments in its election data breach is coming to light. 11 Alive has now confirmed the GBI is opening a criminal investigation into an elections data breach in Coffee County after subpoenaed documents were released. Jeff Hellinger joining us now with where the case stands and the possible charges those involved could face here, Jeff. According to reports from the Atlanta Journal Constitution, the AJC, the documents say one of former President Trump's attorneys paid $26,000 to an Atlanta-based tech company, Sullivan Strickland, to access voting information from machines in Coffee County. According to reports, Coffee County was targeted by President Trump's team and his attorneys were given access to local election equipment by county officials there. The subpoena says the attorneys who visited Coffee County were also involved in election tampering in Michigan and Nevada to other battleground states just like Georgia. 11 Alive legal analyst Paige Pate breaks down the potential consequences, the attorneys, the tech company, and possibly, just possibly, Coffee County election officials could be facing. I think the most relevant potential crime would be removal of election information without proper authority during the course of the election process. There are several crimes in Georgia that deal with getting into the guts of these electronic voting machines and removing them or copying them or altering them in any way. And that punishment could be as low as a misdemeanor or it can be a felony offense. So the newly released subpoenas are sparking up conversations of 2020 alleged voter fraud. Once again, here we go. Coming up tonight on 11 Alive News at 6, we hear from the Secretary of State's office and what this could mean for future Georgia elections. And we're right around the corner to November.